right, tis the season for a violent virus. It's called the norovirus, N-O-R-O, a very serious illness affecting the stomach. It's highly contagious, especially dangerous for children and the elderly, and it's starting to make its way, starting to make its way across the country. Fox News medical contributor, Dr. Jennifer Ashton here tonight. Nice to see you, and good you evening. Too, norovirus. That's right, otherwise known as the Norwalk virus. I actually had a patient in my office today with it. It is rampant, highly contagious, as we hear lots of times, caused via a, a hand route. You put your dirty, contaminated hands in your mouth, you get sick, very readily accessible, in, especially in this day and age, and people who get it can be down for the count for two it's or three days. responsible for 90% of stomach flu? That's right, and 50%... Oh, you, when people say they have the stomach flu, they're uh -huh. not referring to influenza. This is what they're talking about, and it can cause some serious, you know, gastrointestinal effects that leave you in the bathroom for a couple of days, and if you are prone to dehydration or you get a bad case of it, you can get seriously well, I ill. I mentioned children and the elderly are most That's susceptible, right. yeah? Uh, those suffering from chronic medical conditions, those who, whose immune systems are suppressed, can be particularly particularly vulnerable, and usually it's self-limited. So usually within about two to three days, the symptoms are gone. You are still contagious for three days after the symptoms leave, but if you are unable to take any um, fluids in by mouth or you have one of those chronic conditions, you should see your doctor. Uh, how, how do you know when you're sick enough where you need to go to the doctor? Well, a couple so that of things, you don't screw it up and the, go too late. That's right. A couple of things we usually say, Bill, is if you have a high fever, if you are unable to take anything in by mouth for a period of even 6 to 12 hours and you're on, let's say, medications, you can't keep those medications down, or you're not able to urinate, those can be signs that you're severely dehydrated well, and you want to go sooner rather than later. What can the doctor do for you? I mean, this isn't the kind of thing you can get a shot in advance and oh, make sure you're, you're taken so care smart, of, right? You're so smart. Bill, you can fill in for me <laughs> right. in my office. But you're right. This is a virus, so we can't treat it with antibiotics. Usually say, we say the treatment is supportive, so you might need intravenous fluids and just supportive care until the symptoms leave. I'm seeing a note here. It says, clean your clothes with bleach. Yeah. Now, do you do that as a mom? Uh, you bet. And let me tell you, when this goes through my household, we isolate people. Everything that that person comes in contact with gets sanitized with bleach. This virus is hard to kill, so the normal hand washing uh -huh. may not even right. be and enough. And don't put the tips of your fingers in your eyeballs, or you're That's just right. asking for it. You sure Okay, are. one more topic.